this is the Watts half inch uh, shutoff valve. Uh, it comes with um, the threaded adapters. We're gonna be replacing this one. Um, basically, it involves draining the water, and you gotta remove these two screws, and you can thread these off, or you can just screw the new one on. Depending on how those look, I may end up reusing them and just changing the washer or the gasket, or replacing these things with a wrench. Uh, it's a little tight under here. You need a big screwdriver to get these things off. So we'll see if we can get it done. All right, I'm just about drained down. So I can um, take off these hoses here. I'll shut it off just so I can put a bucket under it. And I'm gonna remove these hoses and see if I can get something underneath it to catch a little bit of the water. All right, I got a little Tupperware here. Let's see if we can open this valve and get it out. A little bit of the water here. Yeah, still some water in there. We'll need to let it drain. All right, we're down to a trickle. We're gonna unthread these guys here. I had to use a stubby screwdriver because the cabinet. Ah! Get enough leverage on this screw, so I ended up using a, a pliers on it. Now we should be able to unthread these all the way. Oh, let's get this one out of the way, and then the whole thing will just pop off. And now optionally you can replace these ones in here, which they are pretty corroded and we have had them fail. So we'll probably go ahead and change them. So I did have to use a backup wrench. I'm going to get this one off on the right hand side first, and then I'm going to get the other one off. Um, you always want to back it up so you don't loosen all the other fittings down the line. Let's see here. I can get this out. Okay, so now that I got the old ones out, we're going to apply a little bit of Teflon. And we always want to go the direction. Hold the fitting in your left hand. Hold the, uh, uh, hold the Teflon in your right hand. And go one, two, three wraps. I'm not sure you're the oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're left-handed, good luck. Don't follow my instructions. Go one, two, three. And then we're also gonna apply a little bit of pipe dope. That's for added lubrication here. And I'm gonna put them back on the same way I took them off because if you put the right one on first, you're not gonna get the, enough space to put this one on. And you need to thread them down evenly. Uh, that way the valve will sit flush. So we're gonna try to Probably tight enough. Um, I'm going to do the same thing for this guy. I think they're probably about level. Got two little gaskets here. These little gaskets are very important. Don't forget them. snug these screws up because I can't get a big screwdriver on them. I'm just going to snug them up with my pliers here. Yeah, well that should be good. That's how you install the watch shutting machine valve off. We're going to add our hoses back in and replace those but that's the gist of it. Well I got the water back on. I uh, got the hoses installed, no leaks, and we're running a just a cycle to get the air out the lines here. You want to do that so you don't get any brown water or something on your laundry. <laughs>